Hi guys, this week we're going to talk about um, putting together your demo reel and demo reel shots. So I'm going to take you through the steps of just gathering your shots and uh, we're going to look at what type of shots that we're going to put in your demo reel. Um, we're going to look at um, quality over quantity, uh, the order of your demo reel and how to get a good edit together using soundtrack flow um, and you know good timing keeping it nice and concise and short uh, but this video is going to be on the important shots for your demo reel so the type of shots that recruiters and supervisors look for um, and as you can see in this list um, this is what I feel that um, studios look for uh, the important ones um, first of all it's body mechanics uh, so that would be we're talking about on a biped on a human character and the body mechanics um, demonstrated um, is are things like physical movement which is running fighting you know, fleeing, parkour, mm -hmm. just any sort of um, action shot, um, which is what our um, course goes over. Uh, and everything you've learnt has been from figuring out how to get your character from A to B, essentially. Um, and that's all within posing and timing and spacing. Um, and if you're going to go into full CG, or if you're going to do stop motion, if you're going to do, you know, traditional, flash, whatever animation, your character still needs to have correct posing, timing, balance, everything has to feel um, pretty spot on. Um, we also want creature animation. Uh, if you have it, I know all of you don't have um, you know, a massive range of shots to work with, um, which is something else we'll cover in the next one. We're just going to be working with your quality of shots. Um, but if you have creature animation, you want to show a quadruped, four-legged or more. There's you, uh, there could be multi-limbed characters that you get to animate, six arms or eight legs. Uh, if you can get the realistic uh, locomotion and behavior on animals and creatures, um, studios love that. There's a lot of VFX movies now which require creature animation because you can't mocap um, realistic and believable creature animation. Uh, three is lip sync or dialogue. So detailed facial animation or expressive lip sync. Uh, which can show like yeah, your hero, your um, your character, even your creature, to show that they're believable and that they, I guess, have like a consciousness or even like a soul. So they have feelings and a thought process. Um, they don't just talk for the sake of talking. They're alive. And performance number four. So a full body would be great, more close up, every character or creature showing personality and believable acting again to show that the character or creature you're animating is alive and has feelings and emotion and they will behave a certain way because of how they feel. And I'm going to show you a bunch of shots that I grabbed. Um, so assuming that I didn't um, work in film yet, I hadn't worked in film and I was trying to put together a demo reel um, to get into film, I would look at my checklist and just gather everything. And I'm going to quickly show you, say, body mechanics. Um, so this shot which is a 11 second uh, competition shot. Can't remember what year, 2009. Um, 
and better still see, see him back. Well, it's it's dead and exciting. It's shot has You'll have to come up there with me, LV. See for yourself. mechanics, and he has dialogue, lip sync, performance. When you let him go and see him fly, better still see him back. Well, it's it's dead exciting. You'll have to come up there with me, LV. See for yourself. He does has uh, lighting, rendering, like a full environment, so studios love seeing that. Makes it feel more professional on your demo reel. It's always a good presentation to have that. It's good to have it to have. Um, I have this Spider-Man shot. Maybe from the same year. So this shows body mechanics. So I thought I'd throw that in. Also has, you know, full environment, um, you know, a bit of lighting in there, so we'll add that in. Man test I did. Again, full environment, um, you know, lighting, rendering. Actually, it was just play blast, but I put it through After Effects and did some quick comping for rocks and. So we throw that in for body mechanics. Um, I found a creature animation. So pretty weak animation in my opinion. Um, and environment's not filled and the camera static so you know we'll have to see how that fits in but for now it's a Creature animation, so kind of just work with that. We'll think about it. Needs a uh, animation mentor assignment or shot. Just this kid eating. So it shows performance. It's a jumping test. It's a pretty huge part of my life. I'm sorry, Shell, I don't think you did. Yeah, even sent you a CD. I don't know, your assistant probably didn't give it to you. Some dialogue there. <laughs> Some Hulk body mechanics. And there's a Ninja Turtle, um, another physical animation that we get to show. So I probably won't end up using all of this, but I selected a you know a bunch, and which kind of fills out this list, and then we can choose which ones we want to use and which we don't. Um, but we'll do that in the next video. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about um, quality over quantity as I've got on the side here and I've just minimized all the shots that I selected in the last video just to illustrate the point of how we're going to select the more quality shots, the better shots that should be on your demo reel over just having everything we want something more concise and more punchy to show um, we don't need a demo reel to drag on and to just feel like it's um, filled up with shots just to take up space they need to have a point and a purpose and and I'd rather you have shots that you know that are only like two to three shots that take up 30 seconds that are your best shots that show you know um, your level of experience um, over say eight to ten shots of you know where you get like a minute and a half or two minutes of just mediocre shots you want to look as professional as you can 
and the best way to do that is just to just to keep all your shots um, as precise as possible and that way you'll be um, you'll be remembered for having you know nice shots and not um, just a drag reel um, so we'll start with um, we'll start with like the rendered shots like for example we'll keep this dialogue shot it's a um, pretty huge part of my life Sorry, this finish. shot has yeah, yeah it looks nice yeah. with the renders um, it's just mainly uh, lip sync dialogue um, you know there's detail and you can see like in the in the eyes and in the neck here so a bit of work went to this so we keep this one um, a huge part of my life so you get the eye darts in there and um, a lot of animation and detail went into the mouth and the lips so we keep that um, and the shots like this Hulk one on a plate so it shows it shows like um, full not necessarily renders but it shows full environments a full shot a shot that looks like it could be taken from a I don't know like a movie or a TV which is pretty important it shows a bit of professionalism Shows it's more complete, so keep that one. So like this Iron Man test. Animation isn't perfect, but again has some nice, you know, effects and lights. All that plays a big part. The animation is a bit wonky at the end, so maybe we'll keep that one. See, uh, we'll see what else we have this. So that's on the maybe. Uh, we'll go to let's go to body mechanics. So the Spider-Man shot has a lot of cool poses. Shows uh, body mechanics, which is important. Um, has you know nice camera moves and yeah the environment's all built up so we'll stick with that one another one with uh, renders body mechanics pretty polished animation a bit more cartoony kind of like that one so we'll keep it got this kid eating candy that still looks incomplete and it doesn't really show a lot maybe a bit of performance but mm, I'll delete that one I think so let's close that there's this performance one which has nice lighting and renders animation's okay Yeah, it's not bad. Body mechanics at the start is alright, and then could still do some polishing. So maybe there's this body mechanics physics. Um, you know, nice leap and jump. So I think we'll keep that, even though the background is empty. But I think it demonstrates pretty good uh, body mechanics, which is important. Our quadruped animation. Um, not a big fan of this, and even though it's nice to show creature animation, I think the animation is pretty average, mediocre. There's no 
interesting cameras in it. Backgrounds are empty. It's a, again, quality. So you see our left quality of the quantity. So let's trim it down, and get rid of that. So Ninja Turtle jump and run off. I filled up the background, got some nice two D effects in there. Not bad for body mechanics. Not too sold on it. It's nothing spectacular. Mm, that's a maybe. I'll leave that one up for now. I've got this dialogue. You got references. You've been to college. We only take Yeggs once. Been to college. Ain't that right, D? <laughs> Fear the timing and it beats her a bit off. Um, There's no background, no interesting camera, so I'll delete that. And I would still feel we can take out a couple more. So, not a fan of this animation, so I'll get rid of this one. And that would leave us with about probably a minute's worth of animation. This one to keep it. Maybe we'll take it out. Just because we have a better run and jump here, which demonstrates better body mechanics. So I think these are the final shots, and we'll use that to put together uh, and we'll have to find a correct order for it um, which is also important which will be our next video okay, this video is on how to order the shots in a demo reel um, we usually place our best shot or best um, one two or three shots at the beginning and just for impact um, for studios to see and to keep watching the rest of your demo reel um, is if they see your really best stuff at the start and if you put your average or your weakest shots at the front they're not going to finish your demo reel and you can't risk them sitting through and not watching your um, best shot so if they manage to watch 20 seconds 10 seconds at least they've seen your best um, stuff and they can judge on that um, so with that the first thing you should do is uh, we're in after effects here so you want to put your new comp at 24 frames and just call it Seven demo reel. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty is good. And for now we we'll just leave it at one minute. And we wanna first thing we should do is create a um, a title card. And that's to put your name, email address and just to intro what your um, I guess video is about so we're gonna make this I'm gonna make it four seconds just leave it four seconds and we're just gonna put it in the name 
the video is about. And then your email address. And that's all you really need. So white on black writing is what I always use, easy to read. Uh, you don't need anything fancy, you don't even need it animated or anything, or even some fancy font. Let's get something clear and legible. Center it, make that four seconds as well. start adding in our uh, demo shots so I'm going to start with let's start with spider-man so I think spider-man has some cool body mechanics so it's a good way to Start off the reel, I think. So I'm just gonna make that bigger. So, if your play blast doesn't fit the dimensions of your composition, I usually just fill it to the edge. Um, but you could always try it and get it to fit as well as possible. I might trim off some of the start. So maybe I want it to begin there. Again, we don't need to show them everything just the cool stuff we want to punchy as possible to flow as well so camera direction camera rhythm has to flow like a, a movie edit or a TV edit so you want the camera movements to flow into each other if you can so in saying that maybe I'll just drag them all in play around with the order that way in on gunfire action to keep 
keep the energy coming across your shots. Explosion. Maybe I can use a John Carter shot after that. The leaping exercise. Jumping. Actually, let's do this. Switch it around. Maybe we can have Spider Man. Kind of cross cut with the same action, but with different characters, different shots. So that could work. And we can cut into the Hulk shot here. After effects, if you hit if you hit zero, you create like a RAM play blast so you can real time play back your your edit. But you need your resolution at quarter so it plays back in real time or as real time as possible. Which is very handy. That was pretty good. I think we can just add on a little bit more Spider-Man jump. This time I can shorten the range of what it plays. Is good. Play is not working now, but usually you can just hit zero and it'll play back for you. I think that feels pretty good.
Hulk. Maybe we'll use. Start. Just to cut down some time. See how it looks in high res. It's turn it to full. Got the speed and playback. You just play it on quarter. And that ends up being 56 seconds. Which is uh, pretty good. Nice and tight. And then we would just. card at the end again, keep that four seconds. I just duplicated the ones at the front. And we have another four minutes. Hit zero, see where that caches it and plays it back from. Might work. Doesn't seem to, but. Okay, now we just render it. Let's see, and once you render it, you can just check out how it feels. But just by scrubbing, it feels pretty good. They kind of flow. You have know, similar like high quality rendered shots at the start. Moving to more cartoony. Yeah, in the title card. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to just add a simple soundtrack on the top and edit your shots to the soundtrack if you need to. Um, that includes anything like dialogue, uh, where you get to turn down the volume, or if there's certain beats in your music, you can always um, time a cut to it. Um, but for now, we'll just go in and have a look at the soundtrack that I chose. Uh, and that one is um, just one I threw in here. And if I hit zero and put my res on quarter, see how far the uh, round can take us.
it stops here. But if I can just play a portion and just show you that. <laughs> So it's uh, pretty cool what a soundtrack does um, for your reel. Um, we'll just go over a few things. So if you open up your um, under your music and your soundtrack, just open it up to your waveform, and you can see where the peaks are of the song. So obviously the spikes at the top are the loudest. Um, and if you really wanted to, which I would do now, we will just do a fade in. So maybe just stretch that out so it's full. Uh, the dB down here, the audio levels, that controls the volume. So maybe at one, just set a key there. But at the start, we'll just have it at zero. As you bring it down, the sound you can see in the audio levels uh, it'll it'll drop, so you can see the fade in. And you can always just play that portion just to see how well it fades in. Shot just to see how it looks. See, that feels pretty nice. Um, so, the remaining parts I'll just close this to scrub just so it's quicker. I think all of this is cool. You don't really need a mess of audio. Uh, and then I think there's some audio here. So we're going to play with the sound there. Just zoom in a bit. In this song, it already kind of fades in there for us, which is pretty neat. But we'll just add in another bit more still a bit loud so I set a key right now our zero is negative 1.22 just under zero so it's not too loud but we can just help it we can even get a something like let's see what eight does Shot Maybe around here, set a key, and then we can raise the volume again back to negative one point two two. We can always play that back to see how it sounds. A pretty huge part of my life. Sorry, Sharon, I didn't think you did. Yeah, maybe it's like you can see it. I don't know, your assistant probably didn't give it to you. And it still might be just a bit loud just for the audio. So I think maybe we can bring it down just a bit more. Down 
the 70 and see how that feels. See how it flows into each other. It's a pretty huge part of my life. I'm sorry, Shava, I didn't think you did. Yeah, you even sent your CD. I don't know, your assistant probably didn't give it to you. Yep, that's pretty good. And then. So I know this clip had sound, but I kind of like just playing uh, the soundtrack and the, the animation without any dialogue. Uh, I do that a lot in my shots. Um, I know it hides the lip sync but I feel like for the flow it feels pretty good uh, without dialogue and you just have the music. You can see he's kind of um, saying something to his uh, performance. Um, but I feel like maybe this one shot is enough to show dialogue and this will be enough to show that um, he's saying something and he's also like emoting something but we'll keep the soundtrack on top so we'll play that through once more It's a pretty huge part of my life. I'm sorry, Shava, I didn't think you did. Yeah, you even sent your fucking CD. I don't know, your assistant probably didn't give it to you. The first half was pretty good. I don't know, your assistant. Could even shorten it here, I think, without the dialogue. Which I might quickly do. is more punchy real is better always better and I want to fade it out at the end with the music so just set a key there I know your sister.
which the system probably... Yeah, and I think that, um, shining that, um, last, last bit, taking off four seconds, makes it a lot punchier, especially without the dialogue, and I think that works a lot better. Um, so I hope that helps, and, you know, make a, again, quality over quantity, make your edits, all your shots flow nicely, make sure they're all the same sound of animation, um, we just want quality, make it short and concise um, and find a nice soundtrack play with the, the sound values and go and kick ass